Hi family, so I wanted to share with you some stuff that I ordered from Amazon because I want to hold myself accountable. I've been talking and talking and talking about stuff that I want to DIY and I'm getting ready to do the first DIY and that is um, my dresser. So my headboard, you've probably seen it in another video and maybe if I have a clip I'll insert it here, is a charcoal gray. It's got kind of a distressed look. Um, and but my dresser is from my old bedroom set. The bed is in the, um, I'm not going to show a picture of the dresser, but I'll show you a picture of the bed right here. So you see they're two different colors. So I am going to DIY the dresser to match the headboard. So I got some paint. This is Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal it says it's easy application one coat coverage applied to a variety of surfaces dries on a chalky smooth finish so that's the color charcoal and then I wanted to look distressed like the headboard so I got the rust-oleum chalk decorative glaze it creates an antique antique look and enhances the detail and that is the color of the glaze that I got and then I don't know if I'm going to need this polycrylic protective finish, crystal clear finish, ultra fast drying, easy water cleanup. So if you waste water or something on, on it, this is the finish that protects the furniture. So I also have some, um, I also have some paint brushes and a sander coming. And I had some knobs ordered, the same color as the knobs on my nightstand, and then I took them out of my cart for whatever reason. So I'm probably going to end up, if I don't paint the current knobs the same color as the dresser, I'm probably going to end up ordering those knobs. So I just wanted to tell you, show you what I ordered. I know I don't normally do that, but I'm trying to get used to vlogging. I really like vloggers, and I want to share more of my life, my mobile home living with you guys so i want to hold myself accountable and that's why i'm sharing it so you can ask me and remind me that i have that i owe you guys some videos so thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when i upload a video all right family i want to show you what progress is being taken done around our home i'm going to insert a pic of the steps that my husband created when we first moved And so, because he just laid the concrete on the ground, it started breaking up. So these were the actual steps that he put, uh, he made a step up so then we didn't have to walk in the red dirt. And the other day I slipped coming down the steps. So he decided that it was time to take those up and build some real steps up to that landing so that's what we're in the process of doing now i don't know how he's going to use that but um this is what it looks like now and if i can get some footage to show you what it looks like later then um i'll show you the progress as well as the after so that's the before you guys again my husband isn't a professional but he does an awesome job um, as you can remember, when we first moved in, he just created these steps and had not done them before. So he took them up today and he is going to create us some more sturdier stairs right there. All right, well, today's Sunday and I got the rest of my package, so I wanted to add it in this clip. Um, looks like I only ordered um, one, it can be two, but maybe so. I feel a couple of things in here, so let's see. I think I only ordered one paintbrush, and I didn't mean to do that. I, ordered, I meant to order a wide paintbrush and an angled paintbrush, but you know what? That's an easy fix if 
I can always go to Walmart and get what I need. Now, I did not mean to order one, two, three, four, five, six paint brushes. I'm gonna have to look at my order and I didn't think they were this small. So I'm probably gonna be sending these back. Matter of fact, where's my phone? Let's look at the order now. While it's on my mind. I really did not intend to order so many paint brushes. Let's see. Pack of six for $8.99. No, I didn't intend to order that. So I'm going to I'm going to send that back cuz we'll never use these. And I'll probably just go to Walmart and get what I need. So yeah, that's why you're supposed to read. <laughs> you're supposed to make sure you read um refund continue I have to do things while they're on my mind. I'm going to drop it off at UPS because I don't need a label or a box. And done. So I love Amazon. It's not just because I work for them. It's because Amazon is pretty terrific. Um, okay. And this is the sander that I ordered. So, it is a hand sander, and I'll be able to sand out the um, furniture. It comes with sanding pads, a bunch of them, like 10 of them. Sanding pads, and I don't know what this is, but we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, this is the sander that I use if you're interested in one. I'll put the link to um, everything I purchased down in the description box of the video. I'm going to put this back in here. I have a strong feeling that my husband already has one. So I want to make sure that I keep all of this together. I did not ask him before I ordered. So if he has one, then I'll send this back as well. I, 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 it kept nagging me that I think my husband has me and I did not ask him. In the moment, I just order stuff and I don't think about it. I got some pics, as you see from either a previous video or early in this video, that I replaced the flowers in the vases on my table. And I went back to Dollar General because I saw those pics in there. Um, there are a lot of places really stepping their game up that um, used to be you would find picks, flower picks and stems and like Hobby Lobby, Michaels and stuff, but now you can basically find them anywhere. And I found some white ones that are just like the picture that I have above my dining room table. Here, I'll show you. So let's just turn you around. All right, so I got these picks because they're similar to the ones in the in the painting. However, I, it, it, it was only three, so it wasn't enough. So I went back to Dollar General and they were out. So I'll check another Dollar General, but I saw these. And I thought they were just the cutest little picks and they were only a dollar. So I got one, two, three, four of these and they're really simple really pretty really feminine looking they had ones that had like a little orange but these had a little lavender and i thought that they were perfect for spring so i got these because you can always mix and match your picks so that's a tip whenever you see them um even if you don't need them at the moment i always think about when i could use them later especially if they're so cheap so a dollar a piece they don't look um of course everybody knows they're fake but they have kind of a natural look and a natural feel to them. They're really soft and they feel really good. And so, yeah, I got those. And let me turn you back around. And 
I'm gonna show you what else I got from Dollar General because I never buy this in Dollar General, but y'all know I love candles. They had these buy one, get one 50% off. And another YouTuber I like, Sharon She's So Fabulous, talks about the Dollar General, the $5 candles, the ones that look like Bath and Body. So I got these there by True Living. This one is Vanilla Honey. It smells so good. It smells light, but really, really fragrant. So I got Vanilla Honey, and it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I paid $5 for one, and then I paid $2.50 for the other. This is Cherry Blossom. Now it doesn't have a strong cherry flavor. It's a light, I almost smell hints of vanilla in it, like a cherry vanilla. But it's really light, light and it smells really good. So I was interested to see how they burn and how the smell would permeate in the house. And if it's really good, then I'll go back and buy more candles because I spend maybe $7.99, $8.99, sometimes $12 for a candle. I love Bath and Body, but I'm not paying $24 for them. But I will get them when they're like $12, $10, $8.99, and then they always have a coupon. So, and I love Marshall's TJ Maxx Home Goods for their candles too. So, um, but every now and then I find a good candle somewhere like Aldi's has some good candles. This is a Aldi's candle. It's called um, Morning Blossom by um, Huntington Home. I've been burning this for like two weeks. It smells. So this is how much I got. They smell really good, y'all. So if you, when you get the opportunity to find them at a cheaper rate, try them. Just try them and see if you like them because you may find out that you have a new candle spot. So anyway, that's all I, um, that's it that I have for today. I just wanted to, because I shared in a clip from yesterday, um, the first part of the DIY stuff, I wanted to show you that I got the remaining stuff in. So I'm going to check, I'm definitely going to take, send the paint brushes back. And if I'd have been thinking, I would have just went in Walmart in the first place because I could see what I'm getting and they're pretty cheap um, and get the um, paint brushes from there. So I'm going to send these back. And then if my husband has a sander, I'm going to send this back. But we're all set other than that. I am looking on Amazon for some knobs. I had some ordered. Now they're no longer available. So I'm going to have to find some other ones. But um, yeah, so next stop is our DIY project. I can't wait to share it with you. So thank you so much um, for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.